All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's run this set. Let's see how this plays out. Is uh, best of three? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Best of three all night. Okay. We have work tomorrow. <laughs> Fair. Left. True. True. Middle of the week. Okay, right. great. Already immediate gyro conversion, getting a nice dash attack and a forward air. On top smash, Jesus Christ. Yep, catching uh. Pekka, getting a little bit too aggressive. And you <laughs> saw Dill grab the banana and run. <laughs> he wants that space because he, he knows he can do a lot with that banana, getting the forward smash, as we saw. Okay, he has another banana. Oh, look at that item play already. Already Z catching it. Not getting much off of it, but that's fine. Just the beginning of this hit. Yep, so, let's see right now. Dill just taking his face with the gyro, but okay. unfortunately uh, gets caught by the banana, and we've just seen Dill mix up her play a lot lately at the ledge, but a nice up smash out of shield, uh, gonna be taking Pekko's first stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like he's been caught by two up smashes already, so you gotta play safe around Rob's shield, you gotta respect it, otherwise you're gonna be eating an up smash to the face mm -hmm. immediately. Okay, nice back here though. Diddy Kong has good like he can rack up damage pretty quickly, so as long as he gets a quick forward smash, just like we've seen, then this is gonna be an even game again. Yeah, and I think Dill getting a little bit too comfortable at the ledge, just coming right down in front of Peko. Yeah. Uh, got her got her stock caught. Mm -hmm. I guess he thought he would be more like he would think about it more and be like, okay, uh, Dill's probably scared, he's gonna retreat to ledge, but nope. He just went <laughs> he just went straight into that forward smash. There until back air, good conversions. Great right. monkey flip. Dill at ledge again. <clears throat> now, typically we've seen Dill do it a lot. She loves to like shark from the ledge, but we've seen kind of the, the character development over the past couple of months. Dill starting to get a lot more patient coming up from ledge, coming up with uh, just empty movement. Mm -hmm. Just because Rob has that ability, just like you don't have to, to rush and you can mix up your opponent a lot just because Rob has so many options and Rob can do a lot like with gyro, forward air, and then that doesn't even count like roll, jump, things like that. Yeah, Rob is definitely <laughs> one of those characters with like, I think Rob may have like one of the most flexible game plans in the game. But a great uh, conversion there by Pekko. Putting Pekko in a stock lead right now. Mm -hmm. We saw a nice uh, uh, nair into up air right at the top blast zone. So, of course, that's going to, no matter how heavy Rob is, that will kill any character. Not able to get the scoop hitbox of the up smash. Meaning Pekko has another lease on life. Down smash, not going to be doing it just mm -hmm. yet. But looking to set oh. up at the ledge. Wow. There we go. He stalled for the gyro, but still got clipped by the down air. Great mm -hmm. awareness by Bill right there. Okay. Gyro into lasers, Ooh. simple things, catches that Ooh. nair. Oh, no. That nair doing it all for Dill right now. And you're so, so dead. dead. Great awareness. I think he didn't have a jump and he immediately recognized mm -hmm. that. He caught it. He caught it yeah, out. and you could see Pekko tried to use like the explosion of the barrel hitbox or the barrel jetpack to try and get out of the situation as <laughs> fast as possible, get Dill off of him, but it's too late. Yeah, yeah. So Rob is already here. Mm -hmm. He was at the ledge. He was already throwing gyro and like Diddy Kong. No matter how good you are on stage, off stage you just got two like jetpacks and you know just one hit, one little tap. That's all you need. <laughs> but Rob's side B is more than a little tap. Let's be real. That side B is like atrocious, especially if you combo it into like gyro off stage. I think Dill was trying to do that um, for a second, but like dropped the combo. He didn't even need it though. She didn't need it. Yep, great conversion that second stock. All right, so let's see what Pekko's uh, yeah. counter pick is going to be. Let's see how Can he's going to change the game plan up. Like. Yep, going to be looking at Smashville for our counter pick. Mm. I feel like Pekko didn't, he didn't even really do anything that wrong that game. I feel like it was it was really close. It was just tight. And that last interaction was, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's just Rob gets so much more, <laughs> like, advantage out of out of the, the item hit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if Rob has a banana, I feel like that's that's way more scary than Diddy with a banana any day. That being said, though, Pekko's starting to get something started here at the ledge, but mm -hmm. still able to just make her way back into center stage and now starting to play around at this center platform. I really feel like what informs this counter pick is Pekko really wants to stay in Dill's face. I think Diddy, Diddy gets more, like, close up than Rob does. Yeah. This yeah. matchup. 
even though Rob has like fast buttons like down till and uh, up till even, but Diddy just has so much like right in that close burst range, while Rob more excels at that like mid to further range. Yeah, especially if you're able to like cross up Rob, like a lot of Rob's best um, burst options are like up smash out of shield or down tilt or forward air. Those are all like front facing hitboxes. Yeah, yeah. I think up smash can scoop, but if you just shield it, then like what are they gonna do now? Yeah. Now you have like a free punish with Rob right next to you. You can do anything you want. Oh, a pairing through the gyro. That was good awareness. Yeah, great awareness coming out from Dill, but Peko able to get the first stock with not a whole lot of percent to his name. Only 61%, meaning Dill going to have to work a little bit harder to find Peko's first stock. Ooh, he's got to be careful with these landing aerials. I feel like we've seen Peko get hit with a lot of like punishes by up smash mm -hmm. when he lands really fast with those. Good parry. Nothing coming out of it, though. Yep. All right. He's got to be careful at ledge. Bears. Great dash attack. That was such a, like, kind of a scary situation for Peko. Dill chilling under the Smashville platform with the gyro right in front of her. That is so much space taken care of. Yeah, and now he's... What a tech. <laughs> Great tech. Gotta watch that gas. Dill's definitely gotta find something right now. Otherwise, Diddy Kong's gonna run away with it, but great down tilt tech chasing the down smash. That was a good conversion. All right, Dill taking the high road to you know, oh get rid of those iframes from and the look, Angel platform. Rob immediately getting 47% and trying to get your stock, too. Rob is greedy. He does not care. Okay. We just need to see something simple from uh, Peko. I don't think Peko has to do anything crazy to get the, uh, this stock off, but he just needs one solid hit with his banana. Or a banana confirmed. Yeah, and I do appreciate Peko, like, kind of going back into center stage, recognizing that, like, I don't want to get side beat by Rob with Rage. Mm -hmm. I don't all. need to get grabbed and like have an offstage situation. I'm just gonna take my time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Diddy Kongs have to like realize that they don't have to like go in and push buttons and everything. Even if they can, I feel like it benefits the character just to take your time. Like, mm -hmm. be more oh, great awareness and a punishing. I think this is a regrab situation yep. though. Absolutely. Instant down air. That's good. Good. Great awareness once again. I feel after, with if a Diddy Kong regrabs the ledge, it's a extremely easy punish. Like his recovery is linear in the fact that it has to reach the ledge like eventually. So yeah, and of course Rob down air has like four frames of the sweet spot active, mm -hmm. plus all of the sour spot hitbox. It's it's a disgustingly active move, <laughs> and it stalls him in the air for a bit too. So yeah. that, that helps his mix up game even more. Yeah. Okay, so but. I was going to say, you know, with that re-grab, Peko's lead kind of vanished, but he's starting to build it back up. Dill now in 96. Mm -hmm. Peko could be looking for a kill soon. Yeah, but so far, Dill has just been able to rack on more and more percent. This slight chip damage, throwing him off stage. Got to be careful. Oh, he oh. snipes. That immediate what jump. Snipe. That immediate jump really cost Peko that game. I feel like he was he was kind of ang he was kind of like anxious off stage, and that's mm -hmm. what led the gyro to connecting. And even with Peko having the lead for most of the game, we saw how just one interaction with Diddy off stage can just seal a set. Look, and then and there we go. I do wow. really appreciate uh, Dill, yeah, shielding, <laughs> knowing the just barrels were coming. Yeah, that was good awareness because ah. honestly, Diddy barrel jank is some of the, like it, it's the worst way to lose if you know you got the kill and then like out of nowhere these barrels just like. Kill you, you know? Danger is coming. <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, that was a great set. It was uh, definitely, I feel like, a little slower, and more, pl and both of the players were kind of like respecting each other because 